Hey guys, first of all, I must apologise for not doing a video on Wednesday. The last two weeks, I've been rubbish on social media. And in fact, even before that, I have been way on and off. For the last couple of weeks, there have been days where I haven't been able to upload anything, or other days where I've missed it and it's gone up the next day. It's been a complete mess, but I'm just so busy at the moment. So today, what I'm gonna do is another one of those live blog sales. I did one, I think, a month ago, maybe two months ago. I had no idea it was gonna be as popular as it was. If you're new, or if you didn't see that blog sale, vlog sale or whatever, I did like a chatty video like this with you. I showed a load of things that I was selling at the time. I then put them on Depop just before the video went live. So it kind of felt like you were shopping live. Only problem was, I started uploading things to Depop and they were selling before the video even went up. So I know a lot of you were disappointed, because, particularly those of you in the US who come online a bit later. By the time you got there, there was nothing left. Now that I know you like it, I've got a lot more items, so hopefully there is something for everyone. So many times, I think about selling this bag and then I don't and I actually was talking to David about it just now and he he was said to me he was like why'd you keep that bag you you just don't really use it and I said yeah but it's the sentimental value it's this this is the Louis Vuitton Bria you probably already know this I have fond memories of this because I bought this with my first bonus so for me it represents that particular time in my life I guess it just reminds me of that time and the feeling that I had when I went into the Louis Vuitton counter at Harrods and the fact that I was I could look at it and I bought it and I just felt a certain way the reason why I'm gonna sell it is because I just don't use it so much there is really there's no dye transfer there are no scuffs if you are someone who wears darker colored clothing or jeans as I do and you're worried about it this bag has not got anything on it, so you can use this without concern about that. This also comes with a crossbody shoulder strap, by the way, which you can wear on one shoulder, or you can adjust it there, so you can wear it more crossbody. This you can fit a 13 inch MacBook um, like laptop in it, if that helps you to know at all, if you wanted to use this for work. You can also get an A4 pad of paper in it. So that's what I used it for. I used to use it a lot for if I went to meetings. This bag comes with its original receipt. It comes with the dust bag. It comes with all of the Louis Vuitton packaging. So um, yeah. The next thing is this. It's my Aspinall trunk bag, which comes with on the inside. This is the inside section and there is a strap that goes crossbody. Bought this last summer. I used it quite a bit last summer. I might regret selling it. I don't know. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I sell things and then maybe a month or so later I'll think, oh, where's the item? I want to wear it. And it's like, oh, I sold it. I forgot. But this is a bag that I haven't been using so much this season. And there are... I want to get it in the lilac colour, so I just thought, okay, I'll let this go to someone else. That bag also comes in its original box. It's a pretty big box, actually. And its uh, original dust bag. I'm trying to make this as interesting as possible. I hope it is. I am selling, where is it? Here it is. This is my Nikon DSLR. Excuse me while I put the box down. Where's the lens? I'm selling my Nikon DSLR. This is a D5100. This is what I take all of my pictures that go on my blog. If you look at my blog, any of the quality photos that you see there, or even actually some of the ones on Instagram, the ones that look more professional, that are really crisp and they've got the blurry edges, that is what I take with this. This is a, this is a DSLR, so it takes a professional photo. You can also do video on this, uh, so you can do both. The lens that it comes with, it's not on there at the moment because I use like different lenses for different things, but the lens that it comes with, still in its package, and it's really easy. You just take that white bit off. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna get fingerprints on the, the lens on the inside, but you take the white bit off and it clicks in. And this is an eight, I think it's an 18 to 55. Yeah, 18 to 55 millimeter. This is middle of the range. So it's not entry level. It's not sort of like a thousand pounds camera. I paid 600 pounds for this. Annoyingly, I can't find the box for it. That other box is for another camera, but the box that it came in looks exactly the same. So, um, 
but I'm going to sell it with all of the parts that go with it, the battery, the charger, everything that goes with it. So you will have all of that. Right, the next thing is from Sam Adelman. Is that how you say it? Sam Adelman. And it is these boots. These are brand new, never been worn. Really pretty boots. They are a taupey colour. If you have the Stuart Weitzman thigh-high boots, you know the Highland ones? If you've got them in taupe, it's very similar to that colour and these are suede, they're full leather. One thing I was going to say earlier actually is when I did the last Depop sale I had a lot of you in the comments saying what is Depop and where do I find it and I know that that ended up being annoying for quite a lot of you because you felt that you missed out on things not knowing what it was that I was talking about. Depop is an app so if you don't have it, go onto the app store, look for Depop. It is like eBay. It's eBay, but it's on an app. Search for me on it. When you hit the magnifying glass search feature, again, loads of you were asking me about this. It's really badly designed, but there is a tab you have to click that says people. If you don't click people and then you search someone's name, you're not gonna see anything because you're searching products, but it's really confusing, it doesn't tell you. So when you go and search, search for people and then just search for my name and I'll be there. These have sentimental value for me and this is why I've never sold them. They are from Gina, uh, Gina London, and I actually bought these and wore them for my hen do, like bachelorette, and they come in their own dust bag. These are Python and they look like this. They are quite high, but the platform, can you see how big the platform is? The platform is really high as well. So if you're worried about the height, realistically, the heel is like that. The heel's like a hundred millimeter. That's what it feels like because these are quite high. Also, what I will say about Gina shoes is they are very comfortable. If you've never tried them, whether you like these or not, go and try Gina shoes. They're really pretty, but you could wear them all day and you don't even know you've got them on. They're very comfortable. I seem to remember paying about six or 700 pounds for these because they are Python, but anyway. That is what they look like. I got shoe upon shoe. I'm trying to go as quick as possible. The next pair of shoes are Dolce & Gabbana. I bought these from my favorite local boutique is the sticker still on here. So, and look at the inside, really pretty. They've got a little bow on the toe. They are like beige patent with a black heel. I've worn them. You can see there how much I've worn them. They also come with a dust bag, for each shoe and I I don't know I always think do I want to get rid of these oh just stop doing this to yourself some things I'm gonna try on and show you other things I'm not because I've got photos of them and yes we'll go from there so the first thing is this dress let me back up this is from revolve and I got this last summer it is really pretty when you wear it it's got it's baby pink it zips up at the back. It has spaghetti straps, would you call that, that go crossbody on the back. I bought this intending to wear it on my holiday last year and I didn't end up wearing it. This will be perfect for prom, to be honest. And I'm gonna show you how this looks because when you wear it, it moves really amazingly. The next item is this, still got tags attached. This is from Topshop. It is laced up at the front that you can see there. And this is in a size, I should say, every pretty much everything's a UK 10. That's a 10. What is this? Who remembers this blouse? This is that Karen Millen blouse from last spring that's got the um, frilly shoulders on it. This is a lovely, lovely shirt. It did come with a piece of white fabric that you tied at the neck in like a pussy bow. I can't believe they call them that. <laughs> I don't have that anymore because I took it to be dry cleaned and they lost it. So, but to be fair, you wouldn't know when you wear it. The bow was nice, but it didn't add anything. And then the other thing, is this again some of you will remember this this is it's a jumper dress on the sleeves it's got really sweet little bows and it's got chiffon type cuffs on it on the bottom of the hem oh, I'll do that again on the bottom of the hem it's frilly this is nice because it is it's cut like a shift dress what that means is it's not really big and baggy but neither is it skin tight so when you wear it, it really nicely skims your figure without making you feel uncomfortable 
or without adding bulk because sometimes when you wear i think this sometimes when you wear very baggy clothes if you're trying to hide weight sometimes it adds it before i go and change i'm going to show you the jumper that i'm wearing this is another top that still has the label on it as you can see it's a creamy color and it's got tiny flecks of gold in it and then on the back it looks as such and i'm hoping you can see the tiny flecks of gold this is from if you've been with me from 2016 you may remember this from then it's really nice isn't it i look at this and i'm like do i really want to get rid of it it's actually really nice no i look at it i always do this i look at it and then i think do I really, do I really want to sell this? You know that jumper I just showed you that I was wearing that had the bow on the back? This is exactly the same shape jumper, exactly the same. Same color as well. The difference is the back is plain, still got a label on it. I do this all the time, I buy things and I forget I even have them. The difference is on this one is it's got tiny pewter colored crystals along it these tops are a size small but realistically i'd say if you're anywhere between a uk 8 and a 12 these would be fine because they're quite loosely fitted i'm really in the mood for doing this video today when you do videos some days you think oh i don't have time for this and it's really annoying um because they do take kind of like a lot of energy to do and then other days you just think I'm in the mood for this. I'm really hoping you can see the detail on this. I've just put um, a, a white, you know, like a vest top underneath it. This is transparent, so you would need to wear something underneath it. But I got it with the intention of, I actually had this, I remember when I bought this, I had it on my Instagram stories probably no one remembers because it's ages ago but that was I vividly remember buying it and I bought it with a pair of jeans that had embroidery on them and I intended to wear them both together all of the buttons are pearlescent with gold around the edges this is a Balmain vest top it's got the buttons across the shoulder I haven't really worn this. I got this a couple of years ago and I, I wore it a couple of times. Now I'm actually gonna show you this with another item. This isn't Balmain, but it looks like it could be. It's actually the blazer that I'm wearing in that, you know the Balmain called me fat video? This is the blazer I'm wearing in that video and I've worn it a couple of times since. It's a very good lightness and it's actually a very good fit. It's got gold buttons down it here and here. This has still got its labels on it as well. Let me see if I can find it. There, it's still got its tag on it. I'm gonna actually show you this with a jacket and the two things don't go together at all, but use your imagination, please kindly. This is the jacket, this is from Zara. It is, it's got gold buttons down the front of it. It is slightly cropped and I bought this to wear with an Alexander McQueen dress that I've got and the waistline on it is about the same length as this only when I got it it doesn't really work because they're slightly different shades of navy blue this was 99.99 medium to large I always find in Zara I always get pretty much always get a size medium in Zara I feel like their sizing comes up quite small so if you um if you're not sure of your sizing in Zara they've got a really good calculator on there and it gets you to input your height your weight and i think you also put in things like um other brands you wear that fit you really well and then it tells you what size you're going to be okay so remember what i said doesn't go with the top at all i'm really sorry if you can hear that by the way my next door neighbors are quite noisy and they don't worry about it <laughs> and it, they're a bit like this so it's fine i think if you were wearing this with a pencil dress or with something better underneath where it's slightly more tucked in this would be really pretty one further coat that i have from zara and this has just been dry cleaned actually so when i post things out i include i've got um like little postcards and i put one in there and i like sign it or whatever and write it to you i'm obsessed with fabric conditioner and i have this thing where i like to reek of 
washing powder and fabric conditioner and so many of you i even had one of you last week eleanor who lives in greece and you're coming over to the uk to london and you said i like that fabric conditioner so much what is it because i'm gonna buy some when i get over i use that comfort it's like a fabric softener and it's called comfort fuchsia passion i think it's in like a purple and pink bottle it's really nice though and i wash everything in that before it goes except for if it's dry cleaned obviously because you wouldn't want that the shoulders on it are they slightly puff up when you wear them this looks amazing when you wear skinny trousers with it and high heels this looks amazing because it makes you look i don't know how it does it but when you do that it makes you look really really skinny and i think it's because of the cut of it it's quite straight up and down boxy do you see what i mean it's quite it's just quite flattering god that's so nice do i wanna do i want to get rid of that it's got pockets in it as well i forgot i had this continuing on if you were watching me in 2015 you'll know this and i haven't been wearing it since 2015 it's still got the labels in it here is the Topshop label. Can you see along there? It's got metal pewter colored beading and it's got it around the neck, but also, where is it? Oh yeah, here we go. It has got it all the way down there as well. Now, here was the plan with this. I actually got this for days where I want to wear something really loosely fitting and then have it with, I just with heels on would be really nice with this. This is another Topshop top. This is actually quite nice. It's lace, but it's got a bit underneath it. Sorry for looking over there. There is a mirror just to your left. Yeah, it's quite nice. And the ribbon around here is that grosgrain ribbon. You know the ribbon that's got, it's kind of like ribbed a bit. It's like that. Now the good thing is with this, you can wear a bra with it. I mean, I, love these sorts of tops but i hate it when summer comes around and all of those off the shoulder tops we have to wear a strapless bra and they're so annoying but you can actually wear a bra with this which might be interesting for you to know what are we doing okay i'm only gonna do i think a couple more items because i don't want to make this video very long and drawn out and boring as always, if you like stuff, tell me. If you don't like stuff, tell me. It's really important for me to know so that I can make the kind of things that you like. This is a knit jumper from Zara. Never worn, why? I don't know. It's got a quite a deep V on the back. The thing is, because I haven't worn it, there's no bobbling, it's completely as new. The other thing I was going to show you, and I didn't know how best to show you it, I'm gonna put it over this, but it's not gonna work because it's this doesn't go with this but again use your imagination this is from lk bennett and it's one of those kimono knit sort of cardigans like kimono thing though really and i got this for 135 pounds god what are... the neck on the back looks like that see i got this because i remember why i got this i've gone shopping with a friend of mine and she carries this sort of thing off so well and I, she bought it and I was like, wow, you're making that look amazing. And then I bought it and I was like, you are not making that look amazing. Someone's gonna make this look amazing, but it's not me. So it looks like this. And you know when they stitch, where is it? You could even, you know, you could wear that with a belt around it. Maybe as well, if you like um, LK Bennett, then I think you're gonna like this. For the money, this is a good deal. For what I'm gonna sell it for, I mean. I'm gonna do one more item. You guessed it, it's something else with its label still attached. And it is, who remembers this? Got this at Christmas. I wear the black one all the time, but I, I do, like I'm looking in the mirror and I think, why am I selling this? It's quite nice. It is, um, it's really warm. I'll show you a close up of the fabric in one second. It is my favorite shade of mauve. Oh, it is nice. Don't you think? That, this is nice. This is from Misguided. Best, I bought it in two colors. Best coat I think I've ever bought. It's practical, looks good. You got some pockets in it. Material looks like that. I have still got loads more stuff. How I work is this. I ta I've taken sacks and sacks to the charity shop. I actually take it to 
if you guys are looking for somewhere to take it, if you go to your local refuse um, center, they have got a massive area where they take clothes and you can divide it up by shoes or men's, women's, and I just take a whole ton of stuff and do that. But every so often I do like to sell things as well. If you want another one of these, let me know. As said, got lots more. Everything is gonna be on Depop right now and I ship internationally. I think that's everything I've got to tell you. Thank you so much again. Happy shopping if you decide to browse and I will see you in the next video.